Blog Talk Radio. Mr. Pop. The views and opinions of this show do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of this network and its affiliates. At Midwest IT Support Help Desk, we believe that technology should support and enhance your organization's success, not constrain it. With our wide range of best-in-class services, we provide customized solutions that fit your unique IT needs. We are committed to excelling at our job so you can focus on doing yours. Midwest IT Support Help Desk is always available, providing your organization with professional remote help desk support services you need Midwest IT Support Help Desk will solve your technology issues day or night. Our IT staff ensures that your network and computers are up to date and ready for operation on a daily basis. Don't wait until problems occur. Let our organization solve them with our monitoring software, giving you the peace of mind you need. Let us do the worrying for you. Enabling your workforce with top-notch technologies isn't just important, but imperative for business success. This customizable solution allows your team to work seamlessly and collaboratively in a protected space. No matter what IT services you need, Midwest IT Support Help Desk will be there to support you every step of the way. Midwest IT Support Help Desk. We are committed to excelling at our job so you can focus on doing yours. Please visit www.midwestitsupport.com for more information. Or shoot us an email at helpdesk at midwestitsupport.com. Give us a call, 765-239-9668. Gary Green. This your boy Big T with Extreme Sports Brett here on Blog Talk Radio. And got my boy LC in the house. What up, Chunks? What's going on, Big T? Nothing much, nothing much. And we got Title Boxing Club in the house. They are up here. Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? We are great. We are great. So good. Is Sarah, Sean on here yet? Or is it just me? Just you. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's it's rainy, gloomy Saturday. You feel lazy. You got to get up. You need to go to Tiger Boxer Club today, right? You got that right. You got to go every day. <laughs> every day. One one active rest day. That's all we're gonna give you. One day. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So. And who? All who right. Who do we have on? Who are you? What's the name? My name is Carissa Chapel, and I am the owner as of April of Title Boxing Club in Greenville. Okay. So, now, how did Title Boxing Club get started? So, the initial club, the franchise started, um, you know, I think it's about hmm, seven years, something like that back, and um it came from the idea of having a place that you could go to do true to sport boxing. So the real technique, the real punches, the real kicks, um, but still get a really great workout. And um, so it kind of flowered from that whole idea. I think there was a lot of people who were just kind of tired of either having the two extremes. They had the regular boxing gyms where you would go in and there was a lot of contact and people were scared of that and they didn't want to, you know, get hit. And um, then the other folks, the other side were tired of, you know, the, the Billy Blanks type O type workouts. And so they were just a little too group fitness. They were a little too bouncy. They were, there was no form. And um, so out of that title boxing club was born and it's a fantastic middle ground between both of those things. Okay, thank you. So we got Mr. Sean on now, right? Yes. How you doing, sir? Yes, I'm here. I'm doing right. fine. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, try to try not to be lazy today. Trying to get up this rain. 
You know, you've been working all week. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that was rain it's, it's never like stopped here, it seems like. Yeah, yeah. It like <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. So, uh, Mr. Shaw, how did you get uh, involved in Title Box and Pool? Well, I've been involved in Title for uh, three years. Um, okay. I kind of started out. Uh, I'll give you the, my uh, spiel about how I got into Title. And I was asked by a friend to come out and help to do classes at title because at the time I was training and um, getting into MMA and doing a lot of boxing and, you know, trying to keep myself fit and in shape as well. So mm-hmm. he asked me to come in and do it. And I walked in and I did a warm up and, you know, in front of the corporate people and learned the system. And the next day I was on my own. Okay. So uh, <laughs> through, that, through that journey of three years, I realized that, Hey, this is a place where I like because I was able to help people you know, to have a better lifestyle, to feel good about themselves, and mm-hmm. through boxing and through working out. So um, I've been to a lot of titles. I've been to a lot of conferences and um, all the things of that such and learned the title model and the title way to uh, help people. So uh, that's my spiel, and, I, and I, I love it. That's why I'm still there. Okay. That's great to hear. Okay. That's great to hear. Um, got a question for either one. Um and I'm sure I'm not the only one out here that has been by this place a million times and see the name Title Boxing Club and automatic thinks that if I join this club, it's going to be about me becoming a boxer or a MMA fighter. Is it just that or is it more to it than that? Yeah, it's absolutely more, absolutely more to it. And that's what we're trying to get people to understand is that, um, you know, folks, you're, you're not alone. You said, you know, you're one of the million people who've given that a thousand times and you're absolutely right. It has been every person that walks in goes, I had no idea this place was, was what it is. And so, yeah, it's not. It's actually the complete opposite of that. So if you if you come into title boxing, you can have any type of goals. You can have cardiovascular goals. You can have weight loss goals. You can have uh, body fat percentage goals. You can have just, you know, straight self-esteem goals, things like that. And literally we do everything here through fitness boxing, um, but it's true to sport, fitness boxing. And so, you know, you are going to have a great time. You're going to get a great workout. Sean and the trainers work really hard to make sure that every workout is different. Um, you're going to do different combos. You're going to do different, um, you know, footwork, kicks, punches, um, you know, movement around the bag, offense, defensive moves throughout the entire class. And um, you are going to burn anywhere between 700 to 1,000 calories as an average in just one day. So, yeah, it's, uh-huh. it's definitely not just the, you know, I always joke that the ladies think it's a bunch of guys punching each, each other in the face, and the, lady, and the guys think it's, a, <laughs> it's like a Billy Blanks Tybo class. <laughs> and so nobody ever shows, you know, nobody ever wants to come in because they don't truly understand what it is. So, um, and I know Sean probably has something to add on to that, too, but he's been there yeah. since the doors open. Um, but, yeah, yeah what, add on to that, Sean. Yeah, I mean, Pretty much exactly what she said. We're trying to get that stigma of, hey, we're just uh, a boxing gym or, you know, just a boutique type of thing. But at at the end of the day, we're pretty much a one-stop shop. If you want to learn the footwork and the true sport of boxing, you can learn it. If you want to get the cardio in and you want to, you know, get all the things you want, the nutrition, you can do that as well. So anything that, uh, that you want to get out of fitness, we have it. Entitled, but what separates us is we can teach you the fundamentals of boxing and kickboxing, and mm-hmm. we empower. It's empowering. It's empowering the people when they learn how to kick and how to punch uh, the correct way, and uh, that's what we're trying to get out there and let people understand. You can achieve any goal you want in title. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so you're saying that I can I can come in and learn the the fundamentals of boxing and kickboxing at the same time, get a cardio workout in, or uh, maybe set up a a plan where I'm just trying to tone up or lose a couple pounds. I can do all of that yes. with you all. And I don't. It's not yes. a requirement that I have to be a MMA fighter or someone that's trying to be a boxer. No, nope. Okay. You do not have to be required to uh, 
have any type of boxing background because most of the members pretty much, I would say 95% of the members had zero boxing background um, mm-hmm. when they come through the door. And we, we show them okay. and we pay attention to them and we help them with their form. We help them with their kicks. We help them with, you know, whatever they got going on in their life. That's the thing with us. We don't just come in and do the class. We are family. And mm-hmm. you know, I, like I said, I, I say this all the time. I know everybody's mama, daddy, cousin, you know, where they work at, uh, everything about them. And that way we can better ensure their experience there is better because we know about them and we, we help them throughout their workout and their life at the same time. Yeah. Okay. So we, we okay. came in last weekend. We had a little conversation with Chris and things mm-hmm. like that. And they were telling us about that. The atmosphere of family there, what what is it about there that people just, gra- you know, gravitate gravitate to just want to be around? Mm-hmm. Because we we take the time to invest in each and every member individually. And it's genuine. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we don't. I don't just talk to people. Carissa, the owner, she don't go in there and spend hours sitting down talking to people for hours. We do that to because uh, we care about them. I mean, we mm-hmm. want to see them reach their goals, and that's what separates us. It's not you can't walk in and put your headphones on and go do your workout, and nobody speaks to you. And there, as soon as you walk through the door, we're saying, "Hi, how are you doing? How was your day? How's it been going? How was work?" And people, that's what gravitates people. We really care about their way of being, not only inside of the club, outside of the club as well. Absolutely. Okay. And re- we're very results-driven, and I think that's the other mm-hmm. thing that separates us, too, is, um, you know, we care about what's happening with our with our members on every level, but, you know, ultimately they signed up for a membership with us for a reason. And so that's the first thing that we ask everybody when they come in. And I'm sure most gyms, most fitness facilities do, but the difference with us is that we actually put it down. We know it. We repeat it to them. We do check-ins with them. Like we know their goal becomes our goal. So um, if their goal is to lose 20 pounds, we are making sure that they have everything in place. Like we're, we're literally saying, in order for you to lose 20 pounds, this is how many classes you need to attend per week. This is what kind of meal plan you need to have. This is what you need to be doing as far as personal development on the outside. This is, you know, and we make recommendations for supplements and we make recommendations for, you know, different types of accountability. And so we take it to the next level because at the end of the day, I believe firmly that fitness facilities that don't get people results shouldn't be open. Um, and yeah. so that's something that we take really seriously is making sure, you know, people come in and that's yep. something, you know, I'll, Sean and I'll chat about too. It's like, I don't yeah. think, you know, I, I think such and such is plateaued. Like, let's go touch base with them about what's going on, what's happening. And a lot of times it happens to be things in their personal life, you know, a lot of stress, they're not sleeping, they, you know, somebody got a bad diagnosis, they've got this and this going on, they've fallen off the wagon. Um, I'll look around class sometimes and be like, okay, I haven't seen you know, Joe for like three weeks. Sean, have you seen Joe? Have you guys seen Joe? Have you? And if we haven't, then we call Joe and we say, Hey man, what's going on? We saw you haven't checked in for about three weeks. What's the deal? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we, we keep people accountable. We help them feel wanted in the space. Um, You know, our, our, our gym, we call it a tribe and that's what we are. Like Sean said, it's a family atmosphere. We want people to come in. We want them to stay coming in. Um, and we want to see them accomplish results. That's that's what we care about day in and day out. So I think that's what brings people back time after time too is the workout mm-hmm. itself is addicting. The workout itself is something that people become absolutely addicted to because it is so empowering. It's an amazing feeling. There's a, a ferocity to it that people just are like, wow, I didn't realize I needed that. It's a stress reliever. Um, but also we really care about every aspect of what our members have going on and ultimately the results mm-hmm. that we're getting them. So, and that's a lot of people just don't get that at your everyday gym. Yeah. I All right. Agree with that. All right. Um, um, one thing that you said was um, that I really liked was the meal plan. Cause that is something that I kind of struggle with myself. And I do go to the gym um but the meal plan afterwards is, is something that I really struggle with. So if I come and join title boxing, that is something that you all could help me with. Correct? Absolutely. Yes. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's a couple different ways that we can do that. There's a, we have a six week challenge group that is a very intense form of meal planning. Mm -hmm. Um, But then with the some of the membership options, we also do meal planning as well. Cause that's, I mean, that's 80% of it. 80% of it is nutrition and accountability. If you don't show up, you're not going to get in shape. And if you leave the club and eat like crap, you're not going to get the results that you want. And so um, we do a ton of nutrition, and it's nothing crazy. There's no deprivation in anything that we do. We're not telling people mm-hmm. to eat grilled chicken and broccoli for every meal. That's craziness. <laughs> I've been on all those diets in my life, and, yes, right. you'll absolutely lose weight. But the second that diet, quote-unquote diet, is over, you're going to say, man, I deserve to take a break. So I'm going to take a break for a little bit, and then you're going to gain all that weight back and some. And then what people don't realize is that in the process of these crazy sad diets and these um, deprivation diets where you only eat certain things is that you are wrecking your metabolism. And so once you stop eating the way you're eating, your body is just going to completely shut down and your metabolism is going to be dysfunctioning. And then when it's time to exercise again, you're not going to be burning as many calories. You're not going to be burning as much fat and it becomes this really difficult uphill battle. So all of our meal plans are day to day, everyday life, lifestyle plans, functioning um, with what you have going on, work Mm -hmm. schedule, kids schedule, church schedule, traveling schedule. I mean, we, we do it all to make sure that people are successful. Uh, Okay. Now about what she's saying is, what she's saying is I'm going to pick it back before what you're saying is it's not a cookie cutter uh, meal plan. Everybody's different, which means it's catered towards that different person and their lifestyle. So I'm okay. not Carissa's not going to tell you to eat uh, rice cakes five times a day, you know, <laughs> because we had to tweak. Everybody's different, you know. Everybody's body's different. Everybody does different things. So it'll be catered to you, so you can understand to best what works for you. And that's the difference okay. between us as well. All right. No, so, I, I'm I'm that I'm that big guy of the group. I'm that you know, I, I, I feel like I do too much and I do need to uh 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 push myself more to work out. So what will be I think I tired myself out too much. So I got to get motivated of doing things. What so what would be a great Things to do, just come in and just work out there. Or, well, you know, talk, sit down, and talk, see what the problem, you know, what's yep. going on. So, what we would do is the first thing we would sit down and find, get a consult. We'll sit down and talk to you, have a consult to figure out what your goals are, you know, what we can do to help you get reach those goals. And I will sit down and have an assessment based off of what you can do to figure out what you can do um, physically mm-hmm. yourself. And we'll put you on that type of track for you. I no, can sir. I can have a plan for you, but it's not my plan. I can't, you can't follow what my plan is. I have to yeah. follow what you can do. You see what I'm saying? Yes, so it's not a yes, sir. same thing. A one plan for everybody. Yeah. So okay, what can you do? Like some people are more fit than others when they start this thing, and some aren't. So I can't. You can't have the same one for everybody. Yes, sir. So right. Basically, you sit down and we'll talk. And we'll figure out what your goals are and find, you know, see what your talk or heart rate is, you know, find, find the, the basics of what you can and can't do, and we'll just build from there. We'll build. It's not going to be easy, but because we have to challenge you as well to get you to where yeah. you want to be. So, uh, really? What? I missed the question. My phone went crazy. What was the question? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was saying that I'm 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 the uh, big guy of the group, and I, I I'm busy a lot. I'm totally I'm working. Um, husband, Absolutely. you know, kids, and I'm trying to yep. run the radio show. So I just you know yep. trying to get fit and trying to get myself in shape and things like that. And I'm 43 now. And trying to get healthy, you know what would be the big, yep. you know, the basic thing to do, to do that. Well, you know, and and Sean probably hit the nail on the head with everything as far as like the personalization. But the, you know, mm-hmm. another thing that we really try to teach people is how to prioritize. Everything we do is mindset, in because I believe strongly in mindset. I come from a history of emotional eating. I come from a history of weight fluctuation. I've been an athlete my entire life. 
Um, but I've never really understood, you know, how to balance food in that. And so I've struggled with my weight my whole life. And I've always been very athletic, so people have never really noticed that. Um, but yeah. it's been something that I have done. And so I really take that and put it into when I develop these challenge groups and when I develop, um, when Sean and I sit down and we go through what we're going to, you know, put in place for the members. It, it usually comes from a space that I've been um, and that I know people, in particular women, but I know people need um, very much. And so a lot of the stuff that we do is mindset based because, again, we believe in sustainability. So for you, you've got a super busy schedule. So I'm not going to bring you in and say, yeah, 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 to meet your goals. I mean, you got to you got to do six days a week and this is you're going to do it. And then you're going to eat, um, like I said, grilled chicken and broccoli every single day. And you're going to check into this accountability group 17 times a day and try, you know, like that's just crazy. It's, it's not something that's workable for you. It's not livable for you. So is that going to be sustainable for you? No, nobody's going to yeah. do that. There are two reasons that people quit things most often. Number one is because they're not getting any results, and that's what you'll typically see with folks who don't know who to, who, how to work out at value gyms and stuff mm-hmm. like that. They go in, they get overwhelmed, they're not really sure how to work out, and so they never really see the goals. Um, and then the other thing is when it's just seemingly too much and it becomes this obligation, and it's like, I don't want to go work out anymore, I don't want to eat this food anymore, I don't want to check into this group because it's an obligation. It's something that's not positive in your life. And so we try to make sure that we're not doing those two things to people. And so we're going to make sure when we set up your plan, like for these six-week challengers, for example, they, it's mandatory that they come work out three times a week in the club. So if they need to sit down and, and work out a schedule system with us, we can do that. We have classes that start at 6 a.m. and our last class is 7 a.m., five days a week. And then Fridays, you know, we've got five classes and we've got classes over the weekend. So we make sure our schedule fits anybody who needs it. Um, But the other thing is we're going to work with you on how to prioritize this, this journey. So you're going to prioritize fitness. You're going to take something in your life that you feel like is a priority now, but is not really. And we're going to switch working out at the club for that thing. Um, We're going to prioritize eating. So if you feel like, you want to eat the donut? I tell people, if it's that serious, eat the damn donut, you know, but don't <laughs> think about it so much. Don't stress yourself out mm-hmm. about it. Don't go buy the donuts and sit in your car and eat them yeah. and, and be, feel guilty later. Eat the donuts if it's that serious, but then enjoy every bite of it and then get back on track. And so it's yeah. truly a mindset thing that we do with people where yep. – Fitness is no longer an obligation. It is an opportunity. It's something fun. It's something that's motivating. It's something that you need and that your body needs, and so you want to do it. It's, you'll happily replace Netflix with it. You'll happily replace, um, you know, whatever other things that you've got going on, scrolling Facebook, um, you know, for a couple hours instead of getting up and going to the club, whatever the situation is. So um, that's really what we work on doing is making this into something – that becomes a priority and that you want it to be a priority because you can't force people to do something, but for so long before they just fall off. And so um, that's what we want to do is we want it to be fun. We want it to be motivating and the results that you are getting will be the Mm -hmm. biggest motivator for sure. And then we'll be right behind you just uh, lifting and pushing and kicking some tail if we have to too. I mean, we don't play around when it comes to accountability. I've called him to you. I called an Uber for a member uh, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. She said, I don't have money to get there uh, for gas. And I knew it was her last check-in for the week and she had to get there for the six week challenge. And so I told her, I said, there'll be an Uber there in 20 minutes. I said, we'll see you at the seven o'clock and home the phone. <laughs> and, so, <laughs> and I'll tell you something. You know, I'll, good, yeah. I'll tell you something you said. Um, I'll tell you something you said that will help you um, from when I was just sitting back listening. Um, first of all, the big one of the group, that's something negative. Can't say anything negative oh. about yourself. The first oh, thing, okay. for me. <laughs> yeah. <this is> the, <laughs> yeah. Secondly, you said your age, you're married, and you got kids. That's your motivation. Yeah. You got yeah, kids, I see, I everybody want to be active with their kids. That's that's your advice. That's what we would come. I was like, look. You need to come in. You're not. You don't. We don't. We're selfless now. When we have kids, we're selfless. Yeah. It's about the kids. And when your kids see you trying to uh, sustain and, and wife a better lifestyle, what are they going to do? They're going to do the same, the same thing. So that's exactly what, what that will get you. That will keep you motivated. 
That's yes, your sir. motivation. Yes, sir. Keep you going on your journey. Just that simple. Yes. Something just that simple like that. And nobody wants to disappoint who? The family. Oh, that's right. 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 That's right. And that's, and that's what we would, we sit down and consult, you know, that's what we want to do for you. Like I always say, we get one body. We can't trade it in like a car. Oh, exactly. You know, we can't trade it in. It's what we have. We have to sustain it, and we have to, you know, to have a healthy lifestyle, we have to sustain doing the right things for ourselves, which in turn leads to your family. Yeah, exactly. So I those see. are the things that we sit down and talk to people about and, and find what motivates them and what makes them go to continue this journey to be a, to have a better lifestyle. Yeah. Well, so, I see you on that. So, and, yeah. and, and something else right, um, I would like to ask, um, when you're talking about family, um, kids, do y'all have programs where kids can come in and work out and get trained as well, or is it just, is it just for the adults? Yes, we have kids' classes as well. Um, we and have how old do you have to be? Um, old enough to be able to uh, pay attention. But we'll say, honestly, we'll say okay. seven to and up, because they have to be able to hold their attention to be able to, you know, to be able to work out. And our kids' classes right. have been going well. And uh, Roberto, one of my trainers, does most of the kids' classes, and he does a great job um, with the kids. Um, it's the same thing. They come in. We have a structured uh, workout for them. They'll get a nice workout. They get the fundamentals and the basics of boxing. Um, we do anti-bullying as well with these kids. So we teach them, you know, what to do about being bullied, especially not to be bullies. And we don't teach them how to fight. It's not, we're going to teach you how to fight and hurt somebody. No, that's not what it's about. We're going to teach you how to protect yourself and how not to be bullied and not to be a bully. So, yes, we do those things. Okay. There's something, I'm glad that you said that the anti-bullying, because my son has been bullied, um, especially mm-hmm. last year. He was really bullied a lot. He's a little guy. Right. He's, he's in the sixth grade. <laughs> and and I want mm-hmm. him to I want him to do two things. I want him to be able to defend himself in cases where he has to, and I want him to also get the workout in and know what it's like to you know to get out and work out because he, he wants to play sports as well. Um, right. I, I don't want him to get in and and feel like I'm going to learn this, so if I get bullied, I'm going to have to know yeah, I'm going to start kicking the yeah. punching. No, we don't, no we, don't, we don't encourage that at all, at all. Like and that's one, one of the first things, first things that the kids will say. <laughs> it's so funny. We did the mm-hmm. we did the boxing camp over the summer, and they were like, yeah. you know, um, that was one of the first things we talked about was, you know, let's talk about when it's appropriate to use the skills that you're mm-hmm. learning in this camp, you know, because immediately they're all like, I want to punch somebody in the face. And you can tell they all mm-hmm. are coming from a situation where their parents have brought them in for that reason because they're mm-hmm. being bullied and they want their kids to feel stronger and more empowered. And so that was, that's one of the first things that we go over with them, um, just talking about when it's appropriate, why we're learning this skill. And the reality is, is that there's this, it's the cool psychological effect of empowerment um, is if you do it the right way and you do it like with us where we're doing the coaching, the actual mental coaching and verbal coaching along with teaching the skill is that empowerment mm-hmm. takes this really cool form, especially with kids, where they just feel empowered. They walk stronger their mm-hmm. heads are held higher they feel really good about themselves um and so you can tell that the that um you know that biological need to be able to fight or hit somebody or be strong or look really tough it just kind of goes away and it's a really cool thing because the kids they they just um they know that they're strong they know and with our coaching they know mm-hmm. they don't have to actually use those skills to do anything but they can carry themselves in a way that a lot of times will alleviate a lot of the things that they're going through or at least help them cope with it. And so um, a lot of the kids that we had in the boxing camp especially, and, and we have a lot of them, that it's, that's why we added more kids' classes because the boxing camp was 
such a hit over the summer. And when we said we were done, the parents and the kids freaked out. And so we add, started adding kids' classes. We started adding classes where they can come, the younger ones, um, to some of the adult classes. And the kids look like night and day from when they started. I mean, it's just the most incredible thing to watch. And it's different. There's a lot of kids out there who their parents come in and they say, he's just not into football. She's just not into soccer and, and basketball. And, and we want her to play a sport. We want him to get involved, but there's just nothing that they like. And boxing is that thing for them. And it's the coolest thing to watch because they get in and they don't think they're going to like it or they don't know if they're going to like it. And when that light goes off, you know, and they just become – a boxer, it's just the neatest thing in the world to watch. These kids come in and they wrap their hands like a champ and they throw those gloves on. And, I mean, they're throwing punches better than half of the adults in class. So it's it's a really cool thing to watch. Okay. 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 Cool, cool, cool. Um, you said that uh, we talked last week about the different things that y'all, programs that y'all work with, like autism, uh, things like my oldest son, He's he has autism. Um, things like this. Yep. So what do y'all do with them? So there's a there's a handful of options um, with that. There's your child receives um, any kind of services through the state, um, through local funding, anything like that. So if they're with a local company, um, receiving any kind of life skill services or anything like that, a lot of mm-hmm. times you can go through those providers, those local management entities um, for mental health services and behavioral health services, and they will mm-hmm. kind of petition them to pay for this, for this as, a, as an yep. outlet. And so um, we have a handful of folks who do that, and so they're able to come in with their, you know, like community worker, whoever it is, their, yeah, mentor. Do, um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, their mentor who does that. Um, so they can come in and do it that way. And then the rest of the folks, you know, have come in and it's mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, who says, you know, this, they need an outlet um, for whatever reason. If it's an anger situation, a behavior situation, a depression, anxiety, um, symptoms of autism, whatever it is. And then, you know, that's something that given that information ahead of time, we can absolutely make adjustments and modifications and make sure that they're getting a really great workout based on whatever modif- modifications or special needs they may have. But a lot of it is just, again, symptom management because exercise is one of the greatest coping skills for every single thing out there. Um, and so when you're talking about, you know, positive outlets and getting exercise and getting oxygen to the brain and relieving stress – and getting, you know, releasing cortisol and getting rid of all that stuff and getting all the, the, the happy hormones in there, that is a positive thing no matter what, all across the board. I don't care what your diagnosis is. I don't care what your diagnosis is not. Is Exercise is always a great thing. And so a lot of us, I come from a mental health background. That's what I've done for the last 15 years. And so mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff that we do has that element to it. I want the workout to be not just a physical transformation, but also a mental transformation, a psychological transformation, an emotional transformation for whoever needs it. So we'll always make sure that we guide stuff that way. But yeah, it's a fantastic outlet, coping skill, um, intervention, you know, whatever it is that you need to call it. It's a great option for anybody who has um, any kind of diagnosis. Oh, cool, cool. So, uh, but and you said about uh, Parkinson also, right? Saying you know y'all have, um, mm-hmm. you know, classes for that also, right? We do. Yeah, we We've got our rock steady yeah. class, who's they're the coolest group of people ever. They are um, <laughs> yes. anybody who's been diagnosed with Parkinson's, um, and that's something that came from um, straight from Muhammad Ali when that whole thing started mm-hmm. with him. Um, And he started becoming symptomatic. And they, again, they realized that exercise um, was actually decreasing the symptoms of Parkinson's. And so the tremors, the shakes, the different things like that were actually being alleviated um, or in some early cases being completely negated by physical exercise and boxing in particular um, was really helping that. And again, it's not just a physical thing with, with boxing, it's an empowerment thing. And so Mm -hmm. the big, um, 
you know, the thing that our, the chant that our folks shout in rock steady all day long is fight back. Or, you know, what are we doing? Fighting back. And so that is the really cool element to see where it's not just regular exercise. They're actually coming in and feeling like they're fighting back against something. Um, and so, yeah, we've got that class three days a week. So Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, right, Sean? Yep. Tuesday, Thursday, yeah. Sunday. So, and it's, it's with an actual physical therapist. It's, it's um, run by a licensed PT, a licensed physical therapist, and um, mm-hmm. she is fantastic, and she runs the whole program. She oversees it. Um, we have volunteers come in, but one of our trainers, Stephanie, our assistant head trainer, actually teaches mm-hmm. the class and um, does all the special modifications for them, anything that they need. And so, it, but it's a really – amazing amazing class and so we highly recommend anybody who knows anybody who is dealing with that diagnosis whether it's been recent or it's been a while to come in and get information about that and get into this class because it is again not just the physical side of it but that group of folks is a support group in itself and they have bonded they are great friends they look after each other they take care of each other and it's a really great thing for them to have this natural support system um, as well as a place to exercise and help with symptoms. We have people who have gone down significantly on their medications because of the amount of part of rock steady classes that they've come to. So it's a really cool thing. Cool. All right. Great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's a great thing. So, yeah. um, go ahead, Charles, you got a question. No, I thought you were going to talk. I was going to go ahead. You talk about, um, the cardio and MMA training and boxing. But do y'all also have like you want to come in and lift weights that we can do that as well? Oh, oh yeah. We have uh, two Swiss machines. We have two rollers. We have tires. We have uh, free weights. Um, we have ropes. So we got everything that you can get at a normal facility. Uh, we have it at our club that you can just come in during uh, op- uh, business hours and do a workout to supplement your classes as well. Okay. And, uh, yep. and also yeah, to do good. private training, because that's a lot of people don't mm-hmm. realize that we offer private training. Um, all of our trainers can do private sessions. They can do small group mm-hmm. sessions. Um, okay. And it's, you know, it's like one of those things where you can do, it can be for technique, boxing technique, and that's what I always recommend people um, do some yeah. private training right off the bat when they join because they can really yeah. work on their technique, make sure that they're hitting the right way, um, kicking the right way, moving the right way, because the, the better your technique, the better your results are going to be, no doubt. There's less chance you're going to get hurt um, and all that good stuff. We're not going to let anybody just go in there and just start throwing crazy craziness on the bag. So we make sure everybody is true to form. But um, our trainers – can work on whatever goals people have. So that's the cool thing is that, you know, you can go into a class and, um, you know, do a class and then go straight into weightlifting or vice versa. And we can build it up and then we can break it right back down. We can break it down, build it up. And so a lot of times that helps too with building lean muscle, um, getting results faster than usual. And our trainers know exactly what to lift, how to lift, what to strengthen, how to do the right circuits in order to get you where you want to be according to goals. So if you've got booty goals, if you've got ab goals, if you've got, (laughs) um, you know, plyometric goals, Mm -hmm. you've got speed goals, you've got whatever it is. You just want to be a better boxer. Um, You want to just come in and do mitt work for an hour, three times a week. I mean, that in itself is is a crazy workout. I mean, Sean can tell you, people don't realize when you talk about, yeah, 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 you're going to come in and do round, you know, three-minute rounds. And people are like, oh, three minutes, that's it? And it's like, mm-hmm, get those gloves on. <laughs> One minute. Ring. One minute. Yeah. Actually, about 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, so it's a crazy workout. but it, And it's cool. You know, people, it's different. We've all done the treadmill. We've all done the elliptical. We've all done, yeah. you know, <clears throat> Um, I've done the group fitness classes for years, and it's nothing against those classes. They're fantastic. I love a lot of those classes. But when you run the gamut, you know, I'm getting ready to be 40 years old. When you've done it all and you've I've been an athlete, like I said, even when I wasn't an athlete, I've belonged to almost every gym here. Um, 
you know, things just get to the point where it's just redundant. And that's where I had a hard time staying accountable because it was like, I don't want to go do the same thing. I'm so sick of the treadmill. I'm so sick of, um, you know, the same old thing. I want something different. And so um, title can really offer that for people. It just totally changes up the game, but it's never the same. You're always going to work. You're always going to feel like you're improving on a skill too. So the longer you're there, the more times you come to work out, you're truly going to become a better boxer, which is cool. So it, it's just, it's something totally different that, that uh, can yeah. shake up the game a little bit. If you're, if you're in a fitness rut. Okay. And I, I can tell you something else that we offer. I don't know if y'all touched on it last week or not, that we offer, um, that I actually do the classes myself, self-defense classes okay. Um, okay. for women. Okay. And teaching them how to get up off the ground, how to prevent uh, certain chokes, and how to prevent just to, how to protect yourself in every vulnerable vulnerable position that you can be in. And those classes have been, when I first started them, I didn't realize the relevancy that it had. And um, I thought about when Carissa first got there, I thought about two to three months, I, I received a, uh, a message I sent it that the things that we taught his daughter saved her life. Um, based off of wow. the fundamentals of how to get up off your back. You know, if somebody's choking you or trying to hold you down. So we offer all those services for everybody. That's from men or women. But, you know, men are they're kind of, well, I don't need to take it because I'm not going to be in that position, but you never know. But yeah. so most of the women take it and they love it. They absolutely love the fact. Because I tell them when we get finished, go home and try to your significant other, brother, cousin and they'll come back and tell me it works and that's what makes me say okay you're helping people again that's our whole thing is trying to help people with every aspect of their life as you said you know everything and that has been one of our most successful uh, um, classes as well so we want to get get that out there we want to get that out there and to let people know they can come in and learn how to uh, you know how to defend themselves it, uh, it's amazing you said that we just had a uh, a lady that got attacked in the parking lot at our right. job oh like gosh. two weeks ago, uh, mm. and like she had to fight herself away from the guy. So it's right. you know you never know. <laughs> you, yeah, I got yeah. tell them all the time when we were doing the class. I'm like, I'm not like mild mouth right now, but I'm serious because I'm saying this is a life or death situation. We're going to take this serious. Because yes. we all say that won't happen to me, but you don't know. Yeah. And, you exactly. Know, when I'm doing that class, I want to present like serious and all. Well, we got to get this right because this can save your life. Uh, exactly. Uh, and you know that's what it's about. Yes, sir. Exactly. And with with these classes, are all the classes like a, I think you were saying six weeks classes? Well, this this uh. Self defense class, we're doing once a quarter or on demand. I mean, every time I do one, to do one right after that because a lot of people didn't know we offered it. So, uh, the next one I'll be doing will be the second week in January. So, when uh, school gets back in and there's more people there and, you know, people changing, so I'm going to do one then. And then I'll probably do one a month after that, depending on the um, availability and depending on how many people want to do it. and because we got to break it down and make sure they we don't take more than 10 because we have to make sure they get the fundamentals down. Mm-hmm. It's not about, um, it's not about quantity. It's about quality. So I would do okay. 10 classes in okay. a row if we have, you know, to break it down so people can learn uh, the basic fundamentals of what we're teaching. So okay. we do it. Yeah, I, um, I have a question as far as, as far as um, membership, what what is required as a membership, or what comes with the membership? There's a couple different yeah, options. Yeah. That's another thing that we yeah. just kind of make sure that we've got is a full gamut of options. We want to make sure that people have what they need, number one, based on their goals, and then number two, you know, for their budget. So you're looking at anywhere, like a monthly membership, we've got anything from – you know, a $59 monthly package all the way up to family plans, you know, at $149, a 
um, a package. So we've got a broad spectrum of memberships and prices and all that good stuff. Um, And then we also offer, you know, different challenge groups. And, you know, a lot of people will say, you know, what is a challenge group? I don't even know what that is, or it sounds too intense for me. But the reality is, is it's just the only reason it's called that is because it's six weeks to challenge yourself, to go outside of your comfort zone, do something different. Um, And then in our situation, it's an opportunity to bet on yourself. Um, And that's really what, again, kind of everything we do leads back to empowerment one way or the other. And so with our six-week challenge groups, that's for your folks who are looking at losing a little more weight or they really need to hone in, try to really um, get down in body fat percentage, different things like that. So what we'll do is, you know, the consult, talk to you, what are your goals, make sure you're a fit for it. We only take a certain amount of people every time we do a six-week challenge because we want to make sure we don't have so many people in there. Mm -hmm. Um, And then we make sure that, again, people have the right goals, they have the right personality, they have the right attitude. Like I said earlier, you know, I don't care. Somebody's not ready to take take something like this on. You can tell they're being forced into it or it's something they feel like they are supposed to do. You can tell that in about five minutes of a conversation. And so we're not going to take that person's money. I mean, people come in and they say, well, I can pay for it. And it's like, I know you can pay for it, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a group of people who are ready, who are at that space where they're ready to go. Um, they want this. And so they're going to be a catalyst for everybody else in the group and make sure that they help get everybody results. And so, um, so yeah, we'll bring people in who's got, you know, a little more weight to lose our challenge groups we boast 90 percent i think we're 89 90 percent success rate for people losing either 20 pounds plus or five percent body fat in six weeks and so we have pretty much perfected that whole thing and it's like a mad science blend of different things that we put together that we have found if people follow are we call them our tiers of wellness. If people follow these tiers, it's it's almost impossible not to lose the weight. Like we are literally giving you everything you need. Follow it step by step for the six weeks. Come to the workouts. Follow the meal plan. Be involved in the accountability group. Do the supplements if you want to fast track your your weight loss or your um, body fat loss and you will absolutely come out successful. And people are shocked because they will say, you know, well, I'm a member of such and such gym. I've been there for two years and, you know, they only charge me $10 a month. And I'm like, well, have you gotten, like, how much weight have you been trying to, to lose? You know, 50, <laughs> have you lost the 50 pounds in the two years that you've been paying them $10 a month? Cause I'd rather just pay somebody up front and lose it all in, in six weeks, you know, or maybe two six week challenges, 12 weeks. Um, and not worry about paying that anymore. So that's kind of what we look to do in that is fast track results, but everything's healthy. Again, it's a non-deprivation plan. Our challengers are, John, I'll tell you, every time we do an onboarding, um, they all look at the nutrition plan and they look at the six-week challenge plan itself, and they're like, this is not going to work. There's no way I'm going to lose Six, uh, 20 pounds in six weeks and then one week two week three week four weeks in every one of them gets in there and goes chris i thought you were a straight up lie um, but <laughs> now i see that no fail every challenge group somebody thinks that i was a liar we were exaggerating <laughs> um and so they always get in and admit it though and i'm like it's fine you know i get it it seems so simple because we're bred to think um that it has to be something complicated We're bred to think that it has to be, I have to be miserable in order to lose weight. I have to be hating life in order to be able to get to the body that I want or to feel the way I want to. And it's craziness because you don't, it can be the, it can be the best part of your life. And that's what we're trying to help people understand. So we've got everything. We've got boxing boot camps. We've got challenge groups. We've got um, like Sean said, mm-hmm. the self-defense, we've got the membership options, we've got the private training, we got the mm-hmm. drop-in rate, we got the kids' classes. So membership and, like, what you can get wise, I mean, it's through the roof. I mean, we can just do straight nutrition and supplement training with you if you want. So, uh, you know, you're, you love mm-hmm. your gym, you don't want to leave your gym, 
that is totally fine. We're never going to try to steal anybody. Come on over. If you're still mm-hmm. not getting the results you want, though, come on over, and we'll do nutrition training with you. And I'll yep. tell you all the supplements you need, just the supplements that you need. We're not going to try to give you – you know, all the craziness that they'll try to give you at the vitamin places and, you know, whatever else. Um, We're going to give you exactly what you need to fast track your results. We're going to give you the nutrition plan and then go work out at your gym and then see amazing results still. So we're going to do whatever we can. I mean, we go, I think I told you you guys this um, last time too, like we go grocery shopping with our challengers. I mean, we meet at Harris Teeter And we walk through every single aisle um, as a part of our challenge groups. And we go through what to eat, what not to eat, um, what to eat in moderation, but not we tell them why. I mean, it's truly like teaching a man to fish. I don't want people, after they're done, I want them to be able to continue and go on and say, okay, I know how to continue to do this by myself because Carissa taught me how to do it by myself. It's not just I followed this meal plan and then the second the challenge group was over, now I don't know what the hell I'm doing again. And so I'm going to gain all this weight back. If I don't follow this weight, this uh, nutrition plan for the rest of my life, then I'm going to gain weight. So people will be completely empowered to do that on their own. Okay. For sure. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. So, uh, <clears throat> oh, the, the people that y'all work with, uh, you say you work with uh, the Next Level Fighting Club, people like that, Jamie, uh, and people like that. You know, what's you know, what's the experience like with that? Well, we do. Um, in the past, we've had we typically what happens at Title is a lot of the cardio training mm-hmm. for fighters, mm-hmm. and so especially up and coming fighters. Like if you're just getting into the game and you're not really sure what to do, which way to go, who to get to train you, where I need to go to do what kind of fighting, Um, because that can be really confusing for people. But a lot of the times, we'll start them off with just the cardio. Then once they get to the point that they're ready to actually start fighting, learning to train, um, you know, then we'll kind of help send them somewhere. So um, another Mm -hmm. BJJ place or fearless fighting or, you know, something in town, depending on which direction they're going. Um, and so we'll kind of send them that direction. Now, basic boxing again, too, we definitely can help with most of them have that by the time they come to us and they decide they want to be a fighter. Um, but that's kind of where we land in that. Now, next level does their weigh-ins with us, um, before Mm -hmm. the local fights and then all the fighters, they come and train there, um, you know, when they need to, especially the out of town people, if they don't have their own gym and their Mm -hmm. own trainer. Uh, locally, they'll come the day of the fight and the day before the fight, do their weigh-ins, train, um, get any equipment that they need to before the fight, those types of things. So we're very MMA, um, you know, of course, next level. We love them. Um, we're very friendly in that respect. Um, and then we just kind of help out however we can, especially with the cardio, because a lot mm. of fighters um, historically – are just struggling with cardio and they don't realize it. A lot of the fighters go in, they think because I can hit hard or because I'm really good at grappling or because I'm really strong in this skill, I'll be fine. Um, And the reality Mm -hmm. is once you get in that ring, uh, the first couple of times, I mean, Sean can tell you this because he's done it. Um, But (laughs) once you've done that, the cardio is what I've found um, just in watching historically is that the cardio is usually the first thing that people are like, oh, yeah, they weren't ready. They weren't ready. Their cardio is terrible. And so hmm. we can get people in and try to whip them into shape in that aspect. Okay. Ms. Sean, you want to add mm-hmm. on to that? Yeah. Um, but as she said, we want to get people in for, like, every aspect of it. And with the Jamies, I've worked with Jamie for years. Um, mm-hmm. We are trained together. We have sparred together for a while. Back years ago, um, uh, we try to keep everything close and keep everybody, um, keep our options open if people want to come in and, and train and help out and do the things they need. We want to know they, they can always come there if they need any type of help. With anything. Okay. And we're, we're, we're there to help whoever. If they yeah. want to uh, get their cardio in, whatever, that's what we're there for. And I've done it before myself, so I understand what it takes and what we need to do for them as well. Okay. I I went to – that was my first MMA the last time they was here. 
The first time ever seeing right. it, I was amazed about everything yeah. I saw. I seen prof- because you see, like I was, I, I love professional wrestling when I was young. I still mm-hmm. doing a little bit now, and like you know, you see this totally difference about the real thing and the fake thing. <laughs> you see oh yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you see, you get hit for real. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you love up for real. Yeah, I was yep. like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was amazed. Whole, you know, you, when you're young, world, you think about, right? yeah, you like, you see Stone Cold stun somebody, yeah, he knocked out. And I was just saying, <laughs> you, see, you get the real thing, it's it's amazing. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he really yep, knocked out. Yep, that's yeah. right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, well, you know, um, from, from what we were talking about, I didn't mean to cut you off, what we were talking about, this, well, I don't know if Carissa touched on it last week or this week, but now, Everybody wants to know how to box or kickbox. Yeah. Yep. And the place to do it is now is title. If everybody knows that. We all said it before, even before I even got into it. The best athlete, and athletes are who? Boxers. If you think the ones in the best shape are the boxers. Yeah. Yep. And, and you know, because everybody said, well, how does their body get that way? Well, what are they doing? They don't just wake up that way. They train to get that way. And so that's what we want to let everybody know our difference is. We can show you how to be that way if that's what you desire. Absolutely. Kickboxing and boxing. I I got into kickboxing, geez, what was it, six years ago, I think it it was now. And um, Uh it changed my body like nothing I have ever experienced in my life. I mean, I, and like I said, I've been working out. I mean, I played volleyball at ECU. We had division one strength and conditioning trainers who were pushing us, running us, making us lift and kickboxing still. I was like, I didn't even realize I had muscles in those places. Um, And it just, it was incredible. It was, that was when I fell in love with it because I saw what it could do for me as far as um, making me look like, I was working out because in the past I would work out, work out, work out, run myself to death, um, do all the marathons, all the 5Ks, all the whatevers, um, lift, lift, lift heavy. And I still, like, I looked in shape, but I just never could quite get where I wanted to be. Um, mm-hmm. and kickboxing just, it did that. Yeah. It was crazy. And I remember, like, yeah, being like, be, holy crap, my clothes fit like differently and everything. <laughs> you know, I can say the same because, Carissa, we have the same similar background. I played collegiate sports. I played basketball in college at Marshall. For, mm-hmm. And I played overseas for 10. And when I started, I thought I was in shape from playing professionally in Europe and playing in college. But when I, I needed something to challenge myself, so this is what I started to do. And I was in better shape toward doing this than I was <laughs> playing professionally or in college. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, it's just a different mm-hmm. type. And it's true full body. It's true full yeah. body. So it's you take it, especially you take a kickboxing class, but the way our trainers run the classes is even a boxing class, you are working your lower half. So there's active rest periods in between rounds. And then what they've got you holding the bags or they've got you doing knees. Or they've got you doing all kinds of different offense, defense. Moves. Exactly. And so you're squatting, you're working your core, you're working your legs. I mean, your thighs are burning by the end of these classes. And so it truly is a full body work out in that amount of time. And and the cool thing is too, with our classes is <laughs> this is how most people, when I tell them, you know, they, they say, I go to the gym, but I'm just, nothing's ever happening. I'm saying, tell me what your typical day at the gym looks like. And it's like, well, you know, I'm going in, um, I maybe, I maybe get on the treadmill for like 20 minutes and then maybe I'll go do some legs or maybe I'll go do this. And I said, okay, is the pace of your workout anywhere close to the pace that it was when you just described it to me because that's like the slowest thing I've ever heard. And they're like, no, because I don't really know what to do. I'm like looking up the weights on, you know, Pinterest, what the circuit should be. So everything's very slow paced when you're trying to do it on your own and you don't have a preset plan and you don't really know how to work out. Very few people actually know how to work out effectively. The cool thing about title is you don't have to think you walk in and from bell to bell, you don't have to think. All you have to think is don't stop. Don't stop. <laughs> go Hit harder. Go harder. Go lower. I mean, there's nothing that you have to know, not know, follow the trainer, and it's the easiest thousand calories 
you have ever burned as far as the work, you know, that you have to put into it thinking, you know, just keep going. That's all you have to do. And that's a huge selling point for a lot of people because they're tired of paying for memberships to go work out on their own and they don't know how to work out on their own. So they're not getting any results. And then that just stays in the cycle. Yeah. So, uh, I don't want to end the episode. We can do more talking, but it's about time to get off the air. And <laughs> I want to appreciate y'all for coming on and hopefully we'll have y'all back on very soon. And, um, we can talk a lot more and I will definitely be visiting y'all very soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let us know when so you're coming. Oh, yeah. We will be there. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Y'all come so, check I, us out. Thank you so much for having us. We really, really I, appreciate it. Hey, yeah, no problem. Anytime. All right. There's title boxing, Winterville, North Carolina. Check them out. Greenville also. Check them out. Uh, what's the address again? 3700. Charles mm-hmm. Boulevard. Okay, 3700 Charles Boulevard, Title Boston Boulevard. Club. And we appreciate everything, and we will see y'all very soon. Thanks so well, much, thank guys. You. Bye. 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 All right. Bye. And we we'll appreciate everybody for joining us with Extreme Sports. Thank y'all for another, another episode. Check us out tomorrow night. You know, 830, the boys going in. NFL Week 14, the Cowboys got to lose tomorrow. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Negative. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Negative. <laughs> Tell them again. <laughs> Negative. Negative. Uh, all the way, baby. We're... Cowboys all the way. Cowboys we'll see y'all all the way. <laughs> we'll see y'all tomorrow <laughs> night on Stream Sports. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Peace.